Usu, hey, it's been a while. What's up, guys? It's Jake Shell here, and today we are actually gonna go over what if Asta was actually evil part three. So, this series actually started eight months ago, and on the channel, it's done quite all right. Both videos have done kind of well in traction, and I've got a lot of messages saying that I should make a part three. I know it's been quite a while since I've done this and people are probably even full enough this mini mini series. So if you forgot or don't really remember what has happened, hey, I suggest that you go back, watch part 2 or part 1, then come back to this. I think it will then rekindle the reason why you actually like this and hopefully when you read this part, you guys are going to have some of your minds blown. I hope you guys will actually be able to stay tuned and understand that these videos actually do take quite a bit of time. I didn't really know if this is the route I wanted to go or if you guys would enjoy it as much. So the response in this video would really tell me what I need to know. If we can reach almost 100 likes like before, it would be much appreciated and would give me an idea of what you guys would like on the channel. I hope you guys are able to stay tuned. I'm ready to explain part 3 to you guys and it's going to be a good one. Until then, let's get in. So starting from where we last left off, there was a big big position as to put himself in. He had to bear with the fact you know was accepted into the golden dawns while on the other hand, he was borderline about to kill someone. He came with a pinch of salt as he felt he was going to get turned away and this was the ultimate end. He was disgusted by the actions of Seke prior to the point where he didn't even care if he got into this position or not. Regardless, he was going to be Wizard King no matter how he had to do it. As the crowd sniggered, a captain stands up, but not for the reasons that you would think. His name was Jack and he stood up because he wanted to violate Asta, feeling so disrespected by the fact a peasant with no magic actually did something like that. And the fact that he felt that he was borderline obliged to kill someone else. As Asta was about to turn around, as he was, his anger was slowly building up. He hears a voice from another captain. He bellows his name and says, Hey kid! And this is where everything became silent. No noise from the crowd. Asta saw the pathway and decided to reply with, Yes? The captain named Yami replied saying, Don't address me with just yes, you, you shitty little kid. Why do you want to join the magic squad? Was the question he gave. And it was resonating with Asta, all his past actions from random people giving him disgusted looks and much more and it just came back wheeling to him. He had the answer so deep that he knows if he gave that answer, he would be taken in for question as a 15 year old boy shouldn't have those thoughts. He knew this, so he shouted exact words, I want to be Wizard King. This came aghast from the crowd while some cried with tears of laughter rolling on the floor. Asta shouts at them and say, if you're laughing, get the hell up and back it up. People got up and remained quiet. While he was ranting, Yami interrupts saying, you're in. Everyone's confused and shocked as there was no W from gaining someone like Asta. Yami looked at Asta and saw nothing but a creepy grin, something that'll make anyone feel uncomfortable which led him to just uttering the words, finally, that you know bastard isn't leaving me behind. And as Asta was returning through the crowd, you know looked at him to say congratulations, but Asta actually glides past him going on his way home. But before he can do that, as he passed you know, Yami then appears in front of him grabs his head and flings him into Frinrose, the assistant that was with Yami, spatial magic that was used for teleportation. Now Asta is baffled and unsure where he was. 
and he was unaware of a change of his location. Asta was in front of the base of a worse magic squad and wasn't expecting anything. In fact, he didn't care as he was about to open the door. Yami says, boy, I don't know what, what happened to you before, but now is a new start. Don't let me down, kid. And in that same moment, they open the door and behold, the craziest squad. Asta was speechless and Borderline found this annoying. Since in the other parts, as I explained, Asta is a person that actually likes to go outside and think a lot because of what's happened to him in the past. So in this case, he went outside of the base and went to sit outside. He just wanted some peace and quiet. Yami allowed him to chill outside, then said to the Black Bulls, Shut up! Which allowed Asta to come in without any issues. This is when everyone looked at him and all of them ended up introducing themselves. Members of the Black Bulls were Magna, Luck, Charmy, Grey, Finral, and Gorsh. And let's not forget Golden and Vanessa. Asta was a new addition. He was already pretty annoyed. Luck came up to him and said, Hey, do you want to fight? But then, Luck said, Actually, never mind. From the Black Bulls, it looked like they were all shocked. In fact, Yami was even probably the most shocked of everyone. Which was when everyone continued doing their randomness, proceeding to do what they were doing before Asta came. But in the process, Luck whispered to Magma, I don't sense magic from him, but I sense something inhuman. I can't explain it. This makes Magna question if Yami's decision in this case was the correct one. He then got up and went to Asta to and told him, come outside. Asta doesn't say a word, but he follows him anyway. This was when everyone in the Black Bulls paid attention and followed. When outside, with no explanation, Magna threw the fireball at Asta. Asta is completely confused and was actually pissed, wondering why on earth would he just throw a fireball at me. Magna says, who the hell do you think you are? Why are you here? Asta was actually pretty confused and he was thinking maybe it could be a test. So when the fireballs were coming in his way, he rapidly pulls out his sword, which was seen as a big, heavy, dull looking tool and whacks the fireball away. Everyone is intrigued and was confused of where his mana was. Asta lets them know I have no mana and he doesn't really want to be a magic knight. But he says he needs to be Wizard King to find and solve the truth of the world and change it. Everyone saw him as delusional. Magna then says if you think you have what it takes to reach a ridiculous goal like that, what you going to do about this? He charges up an enormous ball of fire. And without hesitation, as he was about to throw it, Asta randomly ends up in front of him and whacks Magna in the torso with his sword, sending him flying and falling onto the concrete. Asta was going to chase after to hit him more because he was annoyed of how he addressed him and how he approached him. But then he remembered his surroundings and remembered where he is. So he stopped in his tracks and before you knew it, Yami was already there anticipating as if Asta was actually going to do it. As if he read his mind and intention. Yami stresses that everyone should go back inside and that he needs to talk to Asta alone. When alone with Asta, Asta was being apologetic. He didn't really want to come across as someone that is evil but before he could actually finish his apology and say anything yami says i'm going to have to let you go 
let you leave the black bulls i believe i've already made a mistake there's always next year and if you want to be wizard king i'll tell you now you're the last person that will ever be wizard king and this made asta mad Anyway, guys, uh, that is actually going to wrap up part three. There's actually going to be a big, big part four, which uh, consists of a lot of a, and a lot of action. This was basically the build up episode or in this case, a part. And there's basically going to be a lot more extremes in the next one. I hope you guys actually ended up enjoying this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hey, shout out to the people that are always telling me to do the what if Asta. I got you. Anyway, guys, as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.